We have entered into what is my favorite time of the year. This is the time of the year where I get to come and take a look at stuff like this that is a brand new product that is being debuted for the first time ever and this is one of the first places that you will ever see it. So let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound and if you are a returning viewer, I'm here in Elkhart, Indiana and I'm here in the Heartland and Cruiser display and getting to take a look at this brand new Cruiser product here that I am very excited to show you. This is a Cruiser Essence, so this whole model, not just the floor plan, but the whole model is brand new for 2024. This is a brand new product from Cruiser not even any information on their website yet about this that I could find as I'm here filming it. Now, this here is going to be what I would consider a mid-profile fifth wheel. You can see how you have the slant coming down into the front cap just a little bit and a slant down on the roof line along the back. And it does not have a drop frame down underneath. It is all flat underneath. It's definitely going to make it come in at the class of a mid-profile fifth wheel. Now, because there's no information online, that may change by the time I actually upload this video, but I do have exact specs here inside the door. I'm gonna try to refrain from showing you much of the floor plan layout yet. You gotta stick around for that. Um, you can see here the dry weight is 8,129 pounds unloaded and cargo carrying capacity of 2,223 pounds. And this here is 28 feet, nine and a half inches long bumper to bumper. So, that here is what a good number of people out there will tell you is a half ton towable fifth wheel. I will tell you that it is not. Um, the reason why, cause you're seeing that, you know, dry weight around 8,000 pounds, even if you fully load it up, maybe it gets to 10,000, whatever it may be. And there's gonna be half ton trucks that have over a 10,000 pound towing capacity. However, the hitch weight on this thing is likely somewhere around, it's hard to guess exactly, but my guess would be somewhere around 1,200 pounds or so, maybe 1,100 pounds, I don't know. But that hitch weight there is directly correlated to the payload capacity or the cargo capacity on your truck. That unit can be found on the inside of your driver's side door typically. And your cargo capacity on your truck is going to include not only the hitch weight of the fifth wheel, but also occupants in the vehicle, any cargo you put in the bed of the truck or in the vehicle, and the weight of the fifth wheel hitch itself that has to go into the bed of your truck and the hitch weight of this fifth wheel. All those things combined, it definitely is overloading the cargo capacity of most half ton trucks out there. Obviously, every truck is a little bit different. The higher you go in trim level on trucks, the lower the cargo capacity gets. And the lower you go in trim level, the higher the cargo capacity gets. So usually things like a work truck type of build have the highest cargo capacity or payload capacity and are most well equipped for towing. So just do your due diligence if you are trying to potentially tow something like this with a half ton and don't let a salesperson trick you into thinking that you can comfortably do that. Now on the outside, I do have to say it's an interesting color scheme. While we see a lot of white in the industry right now, this has more of a slight, slight kind of beige look. Sometimes it doesn't translate perfectly on camera, but it's a little bit more of a traditional look. And then it has a nice looking molded fiberglass front cap. As we come to this side, you can see your slide out over there and a little, you know, a couple things that are in the way getting a real good look at it. But I do like some things like how it's black down underneath here instead of white. That looks really clean. You're going to get a Kurt Rotoflex pin box. So this is going to have a rubber bushing here. So this will pivot back and forth as you brake and accelerate to give you a more comfortable towing experience. Down underneath here right away, something that I saw that I liked is instead of having a plastic clip here, you actually have magnet latches that hold that door in place. So I didn't have to use two hands like I typically would to get this door to stay up. Storage space down underneath here, this is what they are calling the Vault XL. So this is going to have your battery disconnect switches on it and all of your wiring runs into this box. So it keeps it really clean and concise there. And it has color coordinated wiring back behind that panel. So if there's ever any electrical troubleshooting that needs to be done, it's gonna make that process a whole heck of a lot easier. You have a light here as well. And as you come around, it's gonna have 30 pound propane bottles on both sides. And let me just get that open so you can see. Now, something that's difficult about this event that I'm at 
This event in Elkhart, Indiana is what they call RV Open House or RV Expo. It's a close to the public event. It is not a sales event. So they do not have any pricing displayed. I'm very curious what the price is going to come in on something like this because it feels very premium. It has that nice kind of luxury, timeless look. And it has some features that make me feel like they are either, you know, trying to keep it at a more aggressive price point or they went with some options over others so that they could fit something else in somewhere else at the price point they're trying to be at. One of those things is you actually have electric stabilizers and it does not have auto leveling. So you can see your extended retract right there. You're going to have these electric stabilizers up front and you'll have electric stabilizers on the back and it will not have auto leveling. So I'm curious what y'all think about that. If you feel like that's a deal breaker for you looking at a fifth wheel in this class, or if you can live with that, I will say you should know when you have electric stabilizers, the way that you will level your fifth wheel, um, you can do it up front, like to um, level it north and south, uh, I guess this way. Those jacks up front will help with that to level that north and south. And then to level it east to west this way, you're gonna put blocks underneath your tires. These stabilizers here are not designed to do all of the leveling on your fifth wheel. As you look along this side, there's other fifth wheels out there that do this same style floor plan layout, but this just has a little bit of a bigger feel to it. And I don't know if that's just something I'm perceiving or if it's actual reality, but it just feels like it's a little bit bigger. And maybe it's because they take that slant to the roof line and they push it back a little bit further and it's not super aggressive, but I don't know exactly what it is that's giving me that sense of that feeling. Awning over your entry door, two outdoor speakers, tinted glass windows, has an, uh, yeah, Asdell sidewall. So you're gonna have a composite panel sidewall that's gonna prevent moisture buildup and moisture damage, things like that. Fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly. And there's these frame pieces down underneath here. I'm not sure what those are for, honestly. I just peeked my head under here for the first time. So if somebody's in the comments and knows what these frame pieces may be for please let me know but it looks very clean underneath there very impressed with that you have a vantra trailer tire um, from uh hand cook which i don't think i've seen this tire before uh, this is a 235 80r16 tire it has nice wheels that it's on and then it has this style of suspension here I filmed this style suspension a couple times now out here at this event and every time I still don't know what the name of it is. I'm hoping I can change that. It's something I should go look into. But if you know, let me know down below in the comments. Ever chill refrigerator there so you get your outdoor refrigerator and magnet latches to hold that door open when you open that up. This looks like it's going to be an accessory hitch off the back. So yeah, rated for 300 pounds. So you can put an accessory hitch or an accessory rack here on that hitch. You have a suburban tankless on-demand water heater. It's prepped to add the Lippert retractable ladder that can go right there. And then you have prepped to add a backup camera as well. Down underneath this space, you're going to have a rack and pinion style slide out. So that will be your slide mechanism on this slide and no slide in the bedroom. So only one slide out helping kind of reduce the weight. You're gonna have a 50 amp plug here. So two AC option on this model. And let's see. It looks like you have a gray tank dump valve back behind here. That's going to be just for the kitchen sink and then gray and black tank here for your full bathroom. Now down through here, something I really like about their pass-through storage compartment, not only is it large, but it's a straight shot all the way through. So I like that. They also give you this pegboard here with some hooks on it so you can hang different things there and keep them out of the way. Nice spot for your 50 amp power cord. And then you have your Nautilus water management system right here, which is going to be nice and easy to use. Plus you have an opening here so you can run your water lines down through that space and keep this door closed. Aluminum framing, it is thick aluminum framing. Um, you're gonna have some ducting and water lines running through here and welds on both sides of your frame. Close this here. You can see right there it says dryer vent location. So this is going to be prepped for washer and dryer. Now that's something that is pretty impressive because the other options out there in the market that will, you know, compete with this, a lot of them are not going to have the option for washer or dryer or a washer dryer combo. Like that's not, none of that's an option. And this here, you can get a stackable washer and dryer, which is pretty impressive. So we're going to go take a look inside as we go head inside. Be ready to let me know what you think about this fifth wheel RV, what you like, what you don't like, and make sure to like the video if you haven't already.
As I open the door, you're going to have the more ride step above, solid step, standard grab handle. One of the few things I've seen that doesn't have the more ride safety rail handle. So if you're not a fan of that handle, you will like that. You have a privacy shade here on the window. You can see that's going to go all the way up because that is a huge window there. And it comes from the bottom up, so it's nice. It gives you that added privacy where you can still see out the window if you want, but other people can't really see in. And then it is that pleated material, which sometimes has a tendency to want to bunch up, which my just perfectionism in me just can't live with that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to close this door behind me. And as we come inside of here, Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. This is the floor plan that Cougar made popular, Keystone Cougar made this floor plan popular last year with their Cougar 23 MLE. And lots of mid-profile fifth wheel brands are copying it. The reason this floor plan is so popular is not only does it give you a nice big rear kitchen, lots of floor space, but it's also a short fifth wheel with entry to the bedroom and bathroom on this side. So with your slide outs closed, no restriction going to your bathroom, getting to the bedroom. You also are gonna be able to get to your refrigerator. So you get pretty much full access to everything except maybe your stove, oven, and microwave when you have your slide closed. So this is a very popular model, very popular floor plan layout, and lots of brands are starting to make their version of this. And this is one of those brands. There's a couple things that I really like. First of all, I am a huge fan of these LED light beams in the ceiling. Love that we're seeing this in a fifth wheel finally. Wasn't sure if any fifth wheels were gonna do it, but here it is and we are seeing it. I know some of y'all do not like them and it might be one of the more polarizing things for 2024. Personally, I like them, but you let me know down below in the comments what you think, of course. Two recliner seats here. These are part of the Thomas Paine collection of furniture from Lipper and these are directly across from your TV. And look at that. That looks like that's a 50 inch screen TV right there. So it's a little high for the viewing angle. I don't know if it'll swing down. The bracket there does not make it look like it's gonna swing down. But nonetheless, a big TV, you have a Furion sound bar there. Pull down blackout shades on all your windows and they do have the string there so you can locate where that blackout shade is if it's all the way up behind the valance. Your recliners here, they should recline all the way back. Let's see. Yep. So they're going to lay all the way back their position correctly to be able to do that. So get a nice comfortable lay down position in your recliner. You also have a slide out flooring that matches the flooring of the fifth wheel. So gives it a little bit more of a clean finish to it and not going to be able or not going to be something that you stub your toe on or anything like that. Storage space here in the middle console, four cup holders, and those will both recline. You have nice big windows here, LED light above the valance in that window as well. Lots of natural light coming in here. And then directly across from there, you have your dinette table. It does have legs here in the dinette table. And these are kind of interesting. I haven't looked at this yet. They kind of extend out over the end of this lip here, but it's a wood back, so it's solid. And then this actually flips up this way for easy, quick access to your storage underneath there. Wow, I like that a lot, actually. That makes that so easy. A lot of times I struggle while I'm holding the camera to get to these storage compartments underneath here and you don't really have to do anything. That is actually really nice. You'll also be able to remove the legs to this table. You can put the table on these support bars right there and take these back cushions, put it on top and make this into a bed. No floor vents for your heating. So your heating is ran through cabinetry as you can see there. And then these back cushions here are like a cloth material, which feel very nice as well. And then these are like your pleather material. Going back into the kitchen, Rear kitchens always give you a great amount of countertop and storage space. So you can see all the cabinets you're getting. It has a nice modern looking handle. 
on your cabinets here as well. Storage space through there, back into the corner. Now I open all the storage because I haven't even looked at all the storage space in here. And sometimes there's just little hidden things where I know it may not be necessary for me to show you all the storage, but one, I want you to, you know, feel as confident as you can watching this video to feel like whether or not you would see yourself camping in this RV. And I think seeing all the storage helps with that. But also sometimes there's just hidden stuff that I don't know exists unless I open everything. Those are all your drawers. Storage space underneath the sink here. Does have a spot for sponges there as well. And this looks like it's going to be a spot for a pull-out trash can, which it sure is. The trash can is just not in there. Really love what they did with the sink. This is definitely one of your more high-end sinks here. You have this tray right there with the drain spout on it. You have this right here that's gonna be slanted down. You can see how it has a slant there and can put different things in there to rinse things off. It has a corner drain to the sink instead of a middle drain. And this here, that's a spray port right there. And look at this. You have one of these bottle rinsers so you press the bottle down on that, it's gonna rinse it out. So not only do you have that, you have this that sprays out here. So if you have this tray on here, let's say you have this tray on here like so, if I can get it in here, of course. Goodness gracious. I always mess up trying to do things with one hand. Wow, now I'm regretting my decision. There we go, okay. So you can see you can spray something that's right here if you have like fruits or vegetables or something like that. You also have a soap dispenser here. So this is probably your most complete sink that I've ever seen that literally has everything that you could ask for. And I really like that. That is pretty unique, pretty different, and haven't seen anything else that has all of these functions in a RV sink until stepping in this brand. Obviously, you're going to have a faucet that will detach there and has two different spray settings on it. And then as we move to the right, you're going to have this Suburban Elite Series three burner stove and oven that also doubles as an air fryer. So love that, that's new for 2024. Greystone residential size microwave and then your storage space up above. And then to the right, you have your Everchill refrigerator. This is going to be a 12 volt refrigerator and nice big space there for this size fifth wheel has two different freezer portions. So you will have freezer here and freezer there. And then as we turn to the right, I love the way they set this up. Have these arched corners there. Looks really nice, really clean. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about this, but I really like it. Real quick before I step up to this pantry space, you can see your AC right there. You do have dual ducting on your AC. So ducting coming out of both sides of the AC, gonna give you really good airflow through here. You are prepped to add a Wi-Fi router there on the roof. So if you wanted to add a Wi-Fi router, you can do that as well. And then you have a lip up here for additional storage or decor. As you walk into this space, this is pretty much how it will stay most times for most people where this will be open. And this is gonna be a nice coffee bar area, or as you can see, they have it set up with decor here. And you can also use it as a pantry, whatever you may want. I would think people would put like their Keurig or something along those lines in here. Have some uh, cabinets down there. Then this will slide across. And it actually doesn't go all the way across. It stops right there. And then you'll have additional pantry storage right here. So interesting design and concept. I really just like the look of the arched um, corners there. I think that looks really unique and just stands out. It's a little bit more bold and gives it a new modern feel. So let me know what you think about that and you think about the design of this pantry setup. And as we go up to the front, you have these nice big steps. I don't know the width on this fifth wheel, but this feels like this has got to be 100 inches wide because this is a wide hallway right here gonna have some controls here for your awning slide out this I don't know what that is to honestly I didn't see anything change when I flipped that on so I'm not sure um, but you're gonna have controls for that controls for tank levels and window right here in the hallway and as you go into the bathroom another thing I really like about this fifth wheel is they give you a shower that goes pretty much down level with the floor because your ceiling height in here is probably about six foot five or so. When I stand on my tiptoes, my head does actually hit the ceiling. So I would think it's about six, four, six, five. And when you step into the shower, because it's still flat with the floor. Yeah, I would say your ceiling height 
to here is probably about 6'4", and then you could probably be about 6667 and fit in the skylight. Plus they mounted this nice and high. So you can see here, if I get it to its highest position, which is about right there, the camera's at my eye level and it is well over my head. So I don't have to actually hold this up over my head. A lot of brands will mount it like right here for some reason. And I love that they mounted that up higher and makes a lot of sense. It's also a rectangular shower, so a lot of space in there. It's a plastic two-piece shower, and it has your shower curtain. You're going to have a porcelain foot flush toilet, and then you have your suburban tankless water heater controls right here in the bathroom in a convenient location. You have your vent fan up over here, a light there, and turn to the right. Pretty basic setup with a plastic sink, stainless steel faucet, medicine cabinet storage that opens this way. Good thing I didn't try to yank on that too hard and then storage space down underneath here. So all in all, I'd say it's a pretty basic bathroom, but I do just love the fact that it has that height in the shower and it's a nice wide space as well. Back into the bedroom. Now we're gonna see two really impressive things here. First is the storage underneath the bed. So this is a queen size bed. And when I lift this up, motion activated light. So that light flips on automatically and look at this. You have this storage space all down through here. You have storage space down underneath here. You have some pockets down through there as well. And just so easy to get to. It's strut assisted, so everything stays up on its own with the bed. These pull out drawers here, little openings down there for shoes or whatever you wanna use that for. And just such a good design with having easy access to that storage. Plus because it's open from underneath here if you have smaller dogs or anything like that you could put dog beds under here or you know many different ways that that space can be used so that is thing number one thing number two you have full height wardrobe closets and i guess i say there's really three things then because there's still one more so you have full height wardrobe closets and room to walk around on the side of the bed you might have to do a slight side shuffle because this balance sticks out just a little bit and my arm did hit that as i walked forward but then check this out. Back behind here, I can't recall another class of fifth wheel in this size that has washer and dryer connection. So you can actually do a stackable washer and dryer in this closet, or you just have all this additional wardrobe storage, but that is so impressive. So if you wanna do more extended travel, live in this thing full time, whatever it may be, you can do that. So that is so dang cool. I really like that in this class of fifth wheel and this, you know, I don't know the exact price of this fifth wheel, but I'm sure it's going to be competitive with anything else out there in the market that's around this size. Two outlets there. And then the ceiling does start to slant down a little bit here. So my head actually hits the ceiling when I get to like right about here, which really is like, I have to be almost right up against the closet. So it's not a big deal really. But for a TV on the wall, you're gonna have black pleated shades here in the bedroom. So definitely something worth noting. No pull down blackout shades in the bedroom. They're gonna be a black pleated shade. And that is pretty much everything. Also you have standard lights in here and yeah, no LED light beam in the bedroom. So they just put standard lights here in the bedroom. So let me know, what do you think about this product? Again, this is brand new for 2024. I don't think anybody has seen this before prior to this video, unless you are here at this event. But this is the brand new Cruiser RV Essence, and this is a 25RK. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts on what you think about this, and I'm gonna give you one more look at the outside, just so you can get another perspective of what the outside looks like after seeing the inside. And if you haven't already, make sure to go subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel as well. There'll be a link down below in the description and in the comments. That's my company and that's where I will be creating other RV content as well that's not gonna be specifically RV tours, but still gonna be related. And I'm really excited about that, so go subscribe to that channel. That's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think about this brand new Cruiser Essence. And until next time, live Firmly Unbound.